Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first YouTube video and in this video I am going to discuss 10 MCQ questions from grade 7 first unit plan diversity. Yes, let's start. First one, leaf with reticulate venation is. So we know leaves have two types of venations. First one is reticulate venation and the second one is parallel venation. Normally, parallel venation can be seen in monogot plants such as kithul, arikana, and sugarcane. While reticulate venation can be seen in digot plants where the, branch, where the branches initiated from the midrib spread as a net throughout the leaf. So here, for the first question, the answer should be second one, which is got color. Second question. A non-flowering plant is. So, you know, at the beginning of this lesson, we classify plants into two groups as flowering plants and non-flowering plants. What is mean by flowering plants? Flowering plant means plants which produce flowers such as rose, jasmine, gardenia, anthurium, etc. While non-flowering means plants which do not produce flowers. Examples are cecus, cypress, drynaria, and salvinia. Right, so here they have given cotton, sugarcane, hemp, and cecus. So you know cotton, sugarcane, hemp, all those three are flowering plants. Therefore, the answer should be fourth one, which is cecus. Third question. Select the answer which consists of plants that disperse seeds and fruits only using wind. So you know there are uh, in grade 7 we mainly discuss about three main methods of dispersion of fruits and seeds. First one is dispersion of fruits and seeds by wind. Second one is by water and the last one is by animals. So if we take coconut, it is adapted to disperse by water, while cotton is dispersed by wind. Wara and gum malu, both are dispersed by wind. So here the answer should be the third one, wara and gum malu. Fourth one, two plants which store food in the roots are. So, what is the name we gave for the roots which store food? We call them as storage roots. So, you know, plants, uh, some plants are capable of storing their food in their tap roots or in their uh, lateral roots. So, out of uh, the answers given here, we can take the second one as the correct answer because you know both carrot and beet store their food in their tap root. Fifth one. Select the correct answer regarding a use of plant stem. Yes. What are the uses of plant stems? The main functions of plant stems are first one bears flowers, leaves, buds, fruits and seeds. Second one Support the plant by keeping it rigid. Third one, transport water and food throughout the plant body. And the fourth one is, they can do some, some plant stems can carry out vegetative propagation. That means they can produce new plants by the stem. For example, shoe flower, jasmine, sweet potato and manioc can be stemmed. The next function is some plants which are in green color can carry out photosynthesis. I mean like the plants which have green color stem such as Navahati, Hirasa and Hathawarya. And the last function is like some aerial stems such as Shukwakin and Kithul are adapted to store food in their stem. So, We'll check the answers given here. First one, sweet potato has an underground stem. No, 
sweet potato have storage roots second answer stem of shoe flower store food no the stem of shoe flower they can't store food kitul and sugar cane they can store food in the aerial stem next one navahandi plant does not have photosynthetic stem no navahandi have uh, they have green color stem so they can carry out photosynthesis so the answer should be the fourth one hathavarya has a photosynthetic stem yes correct sixth question which of the following statement is correct mango plant has compound leaves yes there are two types of leaves as simple and compound leaves so what are simple leaves yeah when a leaf blade of a leaf is not divided into segments it is called a simple leaf examples are shoe flower chat right then what are compound leaves if the leaf blade of a leaf is completely divided into small leaf like parts called leaflets that type of leaves with leaflets are called compound leaves the best examples are a uh, coconut katrumurunga or sesbania tamarind can be stated so here mango plant have compound leaves no they they don't uh, they are leaf blade is not divided into small segments called leaflets right so it is a, the mango plant have simple leaves second answer shoe flower leaf has a parallel venation no shoe flower comes under dicot plants you know all dicots have tap root system and also they have reticulate venation third one cupomania is a plant with a tap root system yes fourth one jack is a monocotyledonous plant no jack is a dicotyledonous plant because they have a branch stem they have a tap root system um, they have reticulate venation right so here the answer should be third one seventh question so in the seventh question we have to label this plant leaves plant leaf yes so according to this diagram a should be the leaf blade and b should be leaf tip so answer is first one question number 8 that is from um uh, it is from the different parts of flower the function of part a is yes we'll see what is a uh, part a so you know the main reproductive structure of a plant is flower in a fl- uh, flower there are three main parts sepals petals gynoecium and o androecium so here um, this b it depicts petals and c for sepals and a that is the male part or stem and it is also called androecium right so they are asking what is the function of part a so part a is the male part of the flower stem and no androecium so what is the function of androecium the function of androecium is production of pollen so the answer for the eighth one should be the second one b and c parts respectively are so b is petals and c is sepals answer should be first one and here we have the last we have our last question a fruit that is dispersed by wind is coconut no it is dispersed by water arecana no it is also dispersed by water papo no papo is dispersed by animals so the answer should be pollen yes so we uh, this is the end of our you uh, video thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something and i'll see you soon with another video bye